the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to Our Lady Loves You. My name is Father Zachary of the Mother of God, and this series is to help you become the saint that you are created to be. The fourth set of mysteries is the glorious mysteries. Remember, they're all connected. The joys, the lights, the sorrows, the glories. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection. He is risen. Wow. And he comes forth giving us his victories over sin, Satan, death, the flesh, and the world. He hands us a new life. That's what you're learning to live in the resurrection. You can go to St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 28, verse 1 through 15. And St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 24, verse 1 through 49. And St. Mark's Gospel, chapter 16, verse 1 through 18. The second glorious mystery, the ascension. Forty days after his resurrection, Jesus ascends into heaven on his own power. He gives us a missionary mandate. Go, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teach them all I taught you. We look at the face of Christ in the school of Mary. Mary received a blessing from Jesus before Jesus ascended. Now it's time to go forth to make disciples of all nations. You can go to the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verse 3 through 11. The third glorious mystery, the Holy Spirit descends upon our Blessed Mother and the Apostles in the upper room at Pentecost. We need a new Pentecost in the church. Let the Spirit move and renew the face of the earth. Let Him move in your life. Pray with our Blessed Mother to receive the seven gifts and the twelve fruits of the Holy Spirit. To live in the Holy Spirit. That's the third year of this program. But start now. You can go to the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 1 through 21. The fourth glorious mystery, the assumption of our Blessed Mother, body and soul into heaven. We talked about that briefly. It flows from the other mysteries because God has promised if we are faithful to Him, if we live as faithful Catholics, fulfilling His commandments, living the sacramental life, living pure as Our Lady lives, then He will take us to heaven. Our Lady has taken body and soul to heaven. You can go to the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 1. See the woman clothed with the sun, standing on the moon with 12 stars around her head. And trust Our Lady. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, as Queen of Heaven and Earth in our hearts. She's our mother. You can trust her. Run to her. She's Queen of Heaven and Earth. God gave her everything we need. Go to St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 46 through 55. Now I want to share with you that each of these mysteries has a fruit attached to it. Fruits are very important. Gifts from God. I'll go through them briefly. In the joyful mysteries, the Annunciation, the fruit of that mystery is humility. We start off prayer with humility. The second joyful mystery, the visitation, the fruit of that mystery is love of neighbor. The third joyful mystery, the birth of our Lord, His nativity, the fruit of that mystery is poverty and detachment. These three fruits are necessary for a true prayer life according to St. Teresa of Avila. Humility, love of neighbor, and detachment. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation in the temple, the fruit of that mystery is obedience. Obedience is a blessing. The fifth joyful mystery, the fruit of the mystery of the finding of Jesus in the temple, is the joy of finding Jesus. You can find him in every Catholic church in the Eucharist. The five luminous mysteries, the first luminous mystery, the baptism of our Lord in the Jordan, the fruit of that mystery is openness to the Holy Spirit. The second luminous mystery, the wedding feast at Cana, the fruit of that mystery is to Jesus through Mary. To Jesus through Mary. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom. The fruit of that mystery is trust in God. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration, the fruit of that mystery 
is desire for holiness. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Most Holy Eucharist, the fruit of that mystery is adoration. The sorrowful mysteries, the first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden, the fruit of that mystery is contrition for sins. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar, the fruit of that mystery is purity. We need purity in our day and age. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns, the fruit of that mystery is courage. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the fruit of that mystery of the carrying of the cross is patience. And the fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion, the fruit of that mystery is perseverance in love. The five glorious mysteries. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection, the fruit of that mystery is faith. The second glorious mystery, the ascension. The fruit of that mystery is hope. The third glorious mystery, the Holy Spirit descends upon our blessed mother and the apostles. The fruit of that mystery is love of God. Faith, hope, and charity are the first three glorious mysteries. The fourth glorious mystery, the assumption of our blessed mother, body and soul into heaven. The fruit of that mystery is union with God. And the fifth glorious mystery, the fruit of that mystery of the coronation of our blessed mother as queen of heaven and earth and our hearts is trust in Mary. Pray for these fruits. So now, what are the three most important points of this teaching? The three most important points? Pray, pray, and pray. We need to pray to pray. We need to be humble to pray. We pray to pray. As a priest, I've learned I need to pray to pray. Prayer is conversation with God, but remember who you're speaking with. God Almighty, be humble and be grateful. Go before the throne of God with our Blessed Mother. I urge you to stay faithful to prayer. The challenges of this month, in fact, are staying faithful to prayer. Remember we talked about a prayer plan in your life? Waking up in the morning with the two great commandments and then making a daily offering, a morning offering, making your whole day a prayer. At the end of the day, you, you examine your conscience, make an act of contrition, go to bed in peace, sleep with the angels. But remember, your soul doesn't sleep, so let your soul stay with Jesus all night. Our Lady will teach you how to do this. Pray the daily rosary. Try to make daily Mass. Over time, make daily Mass. <laughs> make these changes in your life that will bring blessings to your life. Spend time in meditation. Prayer is a blessing. You will find God's plan for your life. You will find that plan of communion. Your life has purpose and meaning. Stay faithful to this program. Live this program. Be open to the formation. See how God is working in your life. Formation is not just about learning this information, but living it and letting God work in your lives. To do this, I will give you a blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.